Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video of Marvel Contest of Champions. We are running the last path on 6.3.5 that is going to be cramping and long distance relationship along with bleed immunity and small arms as well. Now for this path, the boost that is recommended by the game team is another one for Mystic Champions. I recommend not to use that. Go with either Composure or Live Intel for skill champions. One of them provides you immunity every 10 seconds, the other one re removes any passive damage you're going to receive on and refreshes on every critical hit. So you can pretty much bring any skill champions with that and they will work fine for this path. Some other viable champions are for Spider-Verse champions can be Venom and Red Goblin. There is also quite a few metal champions so you can use Magneto. Apart from that you can quake the whole path except Yondu and Falcon with Namor's SIG 200 works as well. And the boss is going to be again a Mysterio with Matador and also Toxic Behavior. We'll get more, we'll talk more about that once we get into the path. But before we do guys, make sure to like the video, comment down below and subscribe to the channel and turn on those bell notifications. All of that really helps me out a lot. So the first fight is going to be against a Cosmic Spidey. I am going to use the Composure Boost for this one. You can also use the Live Intel one as well. So with Composure, every 10 hits by a skill champion, he becomes debuff immune. So if I'm having any weakness charges from long distance relationship, or if I'm getting any damage from weakness, uh, from cramping, all of that will go away. So the first fight, I've just bring in the Falcon. So for Falcon, I don't need the boost as well, because he can just swipe back and lock on the opponent and he will not take any passive damage because he is an ability accuracy reduction champion. So, uh, on the same lines, you can also use Archangel, you can also use Quake here, you can just Quake and Shake in the corner, you will get a lot of weakness on you, but as long as you don't hit your opponent, you will not get damage from cramping. Same way, you can also use Captain America Infinity War with the skill champion, because every time you parry or every time there's a kinetic charge and you get a weakness, it will be purified, but it needs to be very high sig. Same goes with, you can also bring in Killmonger with Void, so anytime you get your Vibrarian armor is active and you get any weakness on you, that will be purified and you will be healed back. So these are the few options that you can use and also Killmonger will give you True Strike as well that will help you against all of these Spidey and UA champions. So once you have that down, you can just go in and with first fight with Falcon, uh, with Falcon I'm just trying to keep my lockdown on him and then do my damage. and other options you can use as well here but try to use skill champion with one of those boosts and the fight is much much easier Now the next fight is going to be against a Green Goblin. Now Green Goblin is a villain as well, so if you're running Blade, you can bring in Ghost Rider and use that synergy as well. I am going to use a Magneto. Very simply, I'm gonna use my Heavies to build up to 40 prowess charges and just use an SP3. I'm trying to keep my distance because I don't wanna be getting weakness on me and then get my power drain so i am just using my heavies as quick as possible to create distance and once i have my l3 i will just build up to 40 charges and use it right away to kill him off he's metal he's villain so you have different synergies you can use if you don't have any of them you can use 
any skill champion with the given boost or you can also quick him down so there's quite a few options that you can run him against him this is one of the tougher parts of 6.3.5 so you might need a little patience and try one or two tries to go through it but it's doable with the right champions Next up is going to be Captain America OG. Now, for him as well, one new thing you need to be careful about is to not hit him in his block because he will give you weakness. Um, and that weakness will also count towards cramping. So again, you can use any skill champion. In my case, I'm using a hit monkey because he has a lot of criticals. Although the bleeds will not work because it's a bleed immune path, but it's okay. And also he has, my hit monkey has a chance to shrug off weakness charges. So all of that is working for me again this all the options that are usable are here just use the boost and it's a pretty straightforward fight just don't hit him in block to get the extra weakness on you So next up is going to be a Thor OG. Now he is a metal champion so I brought in Magneto again. So all I'm trying to do is to build up to 40 prowess charges and then use my SP3. And I'm using my heavy attacks to keep my distance from him so I don't get the weakness and then I am not power drained or get damage from cramping. So you will notice that there is a node here by the name of small arm. So the more I use my heavy the, the damage is reduced down to 10%. But we don't have to worry about that, we are just using heavy to keep a distance and build up the prowess charges so when we use an sp3 we give him a lot of damage. You can do the same with other champions, you can bring in doom here and you can use the same. You can just use a medium attack and once he gets a shock you can use a heavy to create distance. You can also use wasp in the same way, so any champion that creates a distance between you guys and doesn't keep you close for 3 seconds to give you weaknesses will work here as well. Next up we have a Spider-Man OG, now for him again I have brought in our own trusty Falcon so all I'm trying to do is to stay back and get the log done on him, once I have that he will not evade and also the cramping will not affect me and any weakness charge that I get will help me with my heal healing with willpower, so yeah just make sure that you attack him only when you have those log done on him so you can avoid all the damage from all the nodes because that is a 100% ability accuracy reduction. So apart from that you can also use a Nemo here but you need to be really careful uh, to only hit him in his stuns and Void, uh, sorry a Killmonger with Void will work really well because there is going to be true accuracy as well. Apart from that you can also quake this fight just make sure when you have all those weakness you don't 
uh, land a hit on the opponent. And Captain America Infinity Ward with Parry and Heavy Style will also work and his kinetic charges will purify any weakness debuff that you get on yourself. Then we have Ronan who also is a metal champion so just be careful about the special, special 1 and special 2 because they stun you for a longer time and he can retaliate very fast on that. The animation for his special are pretty quick so make sure you can either block them and you can dex them or you can keep your distance from them as well. So again I'm using a magneto here, I'm just parrying and using my heavy and keeping a distance so I don't get weakness and power drain just like there and I'm gonna stay back and once I have it down I'm gonna use my heavy again to build up to 40 prowess charges use an sp3 and he dies very fast guys all the other options are available on the left side of the screen you can use them as well just parry and heavy style and the path works out really well Next fight is going to be against Spider-Man Miles. Now with Miles he has some evade charges on him that you need to run them out of. I'm just using a mold man and he's also a skill champion. So what I'm trying to do here that I've used a composure boost. Uh, I'm trying to get to in the beginning when the monster man is less than 10 he has true accuracy so I don't need to worry. Once the monster mass goes up because and shrugs off because of weakness and gets extra monster mass, his true strike will go away. So all I'm trying to do is to get to 10 hits so I can get debuff immunity and I can use the duration of those 8 seconds to get the next 10 hits in as well. Otherwise I can stay back and just use my heavy that will create distance as well and also give me monster mass to get into frenzy. Once I am in frenzy though, I just need to go ham and I will kill him and I use my sp2 to get all of those extra damage and hits in. He kind of works like Blade as well because Blade SP2 gives you uh, like 9 to 10 hits altogether and that refreshes the Composure boost and also Live Winter boost whichever you're using. So yeah.
This is probably the most annoying fight in this path and I lost two champions here because of the reason that he doesn't bait out his specials much so you have to first let him in and block his medium or oh, that's the only way you can parry him and then you go back and hit him and his animations are long to give you weaknesses so that's why you might die here quickly but again just keep your distance uh, keep giving a one or two hits just keep baiting his elbow out don't give him an sp2 because his sp2 will give you a lot of block damage and uh, if you're not using a if you're using a skill champion have one of those boosts active if not there are other options available as well but again don't go in with a quake because you cannot quake this his arrows will hit right through you and yes guys apart from that it's a long fight i think the other defenders you can take out easily maybe here you might take one or two defenders or maybe one or two attackers or maybe you can just do it with somebody like hyperion if you're gonna use a hyperion just parry him and use your heavy to throw him afar and you can also intercept him with your specials and that's how you can kill him off as well might be a little patient fight but it's easily doable
and the last fight before the boss is going to be a wasp now wasp has her evade that you need to be careful about but again he's a, she's a metal champion so i'm gonna bring in magneto again i'm gonna use my parry and heavy and build up to 40 prowess charges and i'll keep my using heavy to avoid the long, the weakness from the long distance relationship and once i have 40 charges i'm just gonna use my sq3 to kill her off there's quite a few other champions that you can use uh, falcon is a very good candidate here as well as killmonger with a void and also nemo works really well here also as well So the boss fight is going to be against a Mysterio who has tunnel vision and also has toxic behavior. Apart from that, Matador is there as well. He used to have armor break immunity, but he's been since nerfed the X6 with the X6 nerf. So now you can bring in a Magneto who's a metal champion, and you can also bring in quite a few others. Captain America with a skill or a cosmic or both champions work as well. Also, any champion that can bypass miss. So I'm talking about your Nick Fury. He works as well and also your human torch work as well also when there is more than three buffs on silver surfer he gets vigilance and when you have vigilance you cannot miss and same goes with uh, spider-man still suit when he has applied a slow uh, the champ uh, the defender cannot miss so there's quite a few options that you can go here there are three things that you need to worry about when it comes to this mysterious boss one is his poison second is his miss and the third is his special one when he throws a special one, he, there is a small timing window in which all of the damage you do to him is reflected back except for any damage over time or parries. So you will notice that I am pushing him to use his SP1 and once he does use his SP1, I only parry him and I stay away and I'm trying to build up my 40 prowess charges once I have them in I will just use an SP3 and give him damage or kill him off. If you're looking for a different champion to kill him off, Hyperion works really well. All you need to do is to parry, use a medium attack and then charge your heavy. Even if he is faltered, the first medium and during the parry will remove the falter. And you can use a heavy and then you can use an L3 to create the distance. And every now and then he will also arm break on his arm uh, SP2. So he works really well as well here. I hope you guys enjoyed the tips and tricks for this video. If you did guys, make sure to like the video, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. All of that really helps me out a lot. We will be starting 6.36 and hopefully completing the exploration of 6.3 in, in the next week. So stay tuned guys and apart from that, I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.